they are improving the quality of life of those individuals and they're able to do that better when they have data to make better decisions about what services they should offer, where they should offer them, and who they should serve. You actually get a number that tells you, you know, one out of five people are in poverty as opposed to a whole page full of, of statistics that would try to communicate the same thing. And just as the chef takes all these ingredients and transforms it into a nice meal that you can eat, Savvy takes raw data and transforms it into meaningful information that you can then use to understand the challenges and opportunities in communities, prioritize, and figure out what actions you need to take. They really needed a single source that they could go to to do better community assessments. And that's where Sav how Savvy came about. Now, 20 years later, organizations are still relying upon Savvy as a resource for comprehensive, reliable data about central Indiana communities. I've been working with Savvy for 15 years, and the reason I do that is because I really do know it makes a difference. It makes a difference to the organizations, the way they make decisions how they're um, able to offer their services, working with different organizations, whether it's a church or a nonprofit of uh, another type, you know, we really get to see the change that it makes when they start to use data to make better choices.